Welcome, fossil enthusiasts and curious minds, to a journey back in time, over 400 million years ago, to the Lower Devonian period. Today, we're diving into the world of one of the most fascinating and fearsome creatures of its time, Dicranurus monstrosus. This incredible trilobite, with its spiny armor and unique appearance, roamed the ancient seas of what is now Morocco. So, let's uncover the story of this prehistoric marvel. Meet Dicranurus monstrosus, a trilobite that looks like it stepped straight out of a sci-fi movie. Its name, Dicranurus, means, double forked tail, and monstrosus, well, that speaks for itself. This creature was anything but ordinary. With its elaborate spines and dramatic head shield, it's no wonder this trilobite has captured the imagination of paleontologists and fossil collectors alike. During the Pragian stage of the Lower Devonian, around 410 million years ago, the Earth looked very different. The supercontinent Gondwana dominated the southern hemisphere, and the region we now know as Morocco was submerged under a shallow, tropical sea. This underwater world was teeming with life, corals, brachiopods, nautiloids, and, of course, trilobites like Dicranurus monstrosus. One of the most striking features of Dicranurus is its impressive array of spines. These weren't just for show, they likely served multiple purposes. Some scientists believe the spines acted as a defense mechanism, deterring predators like early fish or cephalopods. Others suggest they may have helped with stability or even mating displays. Whatever their purpose, these spines made Dicranurus a standout in the Devonian seas. Today, the fossils of Dicranurus monstrosus are found in the Alnif region of Morocco, near the town of Achana. This area is part of the Inder Formation, a geological treasure trove that has yielded some of the most exquisite trilobite specimens in the world. The arid, rocky landscape of Morocco hides secrets from a time long before the Sahara Desert existed, a time when this land was covered by a vibrant, ancient ocean. Unearthing and preparing a Dicranurus fossil is no small feat. These delicate specimens require painstaking care to remove them from the surrounding rock and reveal their intricate details. Fossil preparators use fine tools and a steady hand to bring these ancient creatures back to life, so to speak. The result? A stunning window into the past. Let's take a closer look at this incredible fossil. The head shield, or cephalon, is adorned with long, curved spines that give Dicranurus its distinctive, almost alien appearance. The tail, or pygidium, is equally impressive, with its forked shape and smaller spines. Together, these features make Dicranurus one of the most recognizable trilobites in the fossil record. Life in the Devonian seas wasn't easy. Dicranurus had to navigate a world full of predators and competition for resources. As a benthic creature, it likely scoured the seafloor for organic matter or small prey. Its spines may have helped it avoid becoming someone else's dinner, but survival was still a daily challenge. Dicranurus monstrosus is just one of over 20,000 known species of trilobites, a group that thrived for nearly 300 million years. These ancient arthropods were incredibly diverse, adapting to a wide range of environments and evolving into countless shapes and sizes. Yet, Dicranurus remains one of the most iconic, a testament to the strange and wonderful world of the Devonian. Today, Dicranurus monstrosus serves as a reminder of the incredible history written in stone. Each fossil tells a story, a snapshot of life millions of years ago. And thanks to the dedicated work of paleontologists and fossil hunters, we can continue to uncover these stories and piece together the puzzle of our planet's past. If you enjoyed this journey into the Devonian seas, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fossil adventures. Let us know in the comments, what's your favorite trilobite? And if you're as fascinated by Dicranurus monstrosus as we are, share this video with your fellow fossil enthusiasts. Until next time, keep exploring, and remember, the past is always waiting to be discovered.